Um, I was at the Goodwill on Northside Drive. I wasn't really in the mood for shopping because um, I had an appointment that morning and I just stopped in. That was gorgeous. I had something similar to that before. Those are um, antiques. Very beautiful. Didn't really see a need for it, so I left it, but that was beautiful. And this is like the vases and planters section. Had to do a voiceover. Still, that music just too loud and all the um background noise. It's such a shame. Uh, the, you know, it's nice to have the live uh, noise from the background so you can get the whole feel of the store. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> that was a sand dollar, which I love. And it should have stayed on the shelf because I have so many. <laughs> At this time of the year, you should look for uh, planters because you'll be doing, a, you know, herbs or so a garden, you know, growing tomatoes or something in the summer. Even just a tulip or just some little flowers. So lilac or time so you should look for um planters but i didn't see any she was cute oh i found lots of dolls on this trip i was so glad that i did my <laughs> my antique doll video already because i would have bought at least five of them <laughs> just to add to that video and then you're stuck with them I think that was like a um, vintage, like popcorn maker trying to be something like it. I wasn't sure. But... If that was vintage, I would have bought that because that's really cute to put your candles on. They had the cutest little dolls. Like I said, I was so glad I did. I made that video. And this doll here, she was made to kneel down. That was too cute. So I wanted to put her in a position so she wasn't just unbalanced. A cute little sailor outfit. That was darling. And she was from some country. Beautiful. If I had a place to put them, I would have bought one or two of them because they were really nice. Really nice. They came in the original boxes. See all those boxes down here? Someone had just pulled them apart and just left them. They didn't even bother to put the boxes back together. It's a shame. Oh, they should at least put the uh, boxes back together. But... And they were cute set of chaps. Those two were drinking beer, like by the dock or the pier. And then he was um, like fixing a net... To uh, go fishing or something. Oh, probably to uh, to hunt uh, crabs or lobsters or something. And that was someone's aquarium, but you could tell it's all tumbled and ruined. The reason why I was looking at it because I was interested in the stones, but there wasn't no nice ones. And that was a cute little clown. It's hard for me not to collect clowns, but there's nowhere to put them. And the good thing is, you see, the store was like completely empty. I just loved it. <laughs> I went, that was a Wednesday morning? Yeah, that was a Wednesday morning. So I have to remember, go Wednesday mornings. This is my second video at this Goodwill. I don't think I'm going to go back. I only went because it was on the way from the um for my appointment, you know, on the way going home. Well, not all the way going home, but sort of it was the closest one to where I was at and closest to my home. So, but as you can see, they have no um antiques.
And I thought that was like a tripod stand, but it was broke. So I left that because that would have been a good find. I need things like that. I have, but I don't have that one. I thought that was Ray Dunn, but it was not. I think if it was Ray Dunn, I think it would have came home with me. <laughs> it was by Heart. Oh, I missed it. Heart and Hands, I think. It was cute. Really cute. You, you know what made me leave it? That was not the original um, Honey Dip. Yeah, you can tell by the color of it, unless whoever had it ruined it. I really was looking for Easter pieces. That was cute. That was an aquarium. See, dolphin among the ruins. That was cute. You could put a string in there and hang it. That would be nice in a little boys' room or in your bathroom. And this was kind of like the mug section. I think mugging is it glasses yeah i think glasses it's all modern didn't see any vintage and one thing i do like about the goodwills how they color coordinate like that's the red aisle uh, you know it makes shopping easy if you're looking for something red you can go right to the red sections these were some more uh modern glasses and uh, mugs i hope one day i can find a nice uh store that has some beautiful vintage mugs so i can actually show them to you that was cute but it was broke i think it was like a pear a crystal pear or apple and those two uh those roosters yeah that was vintage it would be gorgeous in fact i think that was vintage i just didn't want it yeah And this is the um, aisle with uh, mostly dishes and uh, sauces. That was gorgeous. That's like you can bake in there, that uh, brick looking. I, 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 I want to say it's Mexican, but I'm not 100% sure. And remember those black lacquer dishes that came out? <laughs> there they go. All eight, a set of eight bowls. That was cute. I remember I always wanted one. I never did get never did get it. Never did get it. I always wanted one though. I don't I'm not interested in that anymore. I'm not into black dishes. That was cute. If I had red and white, I would have added that to my collection. I used to have a whole collection of that red and white, pink and white, green and white. I sold them all over the years. That was cute. Like I said, I'm looking for Easter things to do an Easter table. And that's why these this set and that last set kind of caught my eye. But if this was a if this had four plates, I would have bought it. It only had three plates, but it was gorgeous. You see that rooster on the front? Um, isn't that called uh spot wear or something like that? Um I can't think of the name. Something wear beautiful now those were antiques I was wondering if maybe the store was empty because the music's so loud <laughs> I mean it's extremely like overkill like I I wanted to move faster but I do know I'm filming because I really wanted to leave like I said I don't think I'm gonna be going back here at least no time soon. I will go back. Because, you know, it's a goodwill. And I will go back. It 
And this is the time to buy your Christmas items because they're very cheap. I think that wreath was, it said $1.99 on it. Oh, you know, around Christmas time, they have those wreaths. They be asking uh, $25 and up. So, if you didn't, if you don't have a wreath, this would be a good time to buy one at your uh, local thrift store. Atlanta used to have some beautiful yard sales on the weekend. I can't seem to find any. You used to, you used to go to like, you'd have like your choice. You go from one to another to another to another. I don't see any anymore. That was vintage. And this is like the plastic catch-all, which I normally don't look, but you know, sometimes people put things in these aisles, so it's good to just take a look, a quick tour at least. I normally don't buy plastic things from the thrift store. I don't like plastic things, period. It, they carry too much bacteria and germs. If you're going to collect something from this aisle, you know, just soak it in some uh, bleach, like for a day, or I would soak it overnight in some bleach, yeah. Because plastic carries uh, bacteria, like glass and porcelain, it doesn't carry bacteria. Well, it does, but you could uh, wash it off. But the plastic stuff, it's, I mean, you know, if you want to collect plastic, you go ahead. I, I'm just not collecting plastic. But um, I have collected those Avon uh, plastic Tupperware pieces before, and I just soaked them in bleach overnight. This is the Christmas section. This is my favorite section, but um, all they had was like modern and broken stuff. Oh, that was gorgeous. That did come home with me, right? Yes. Yeah, that was beautiful. Vintage glass cross. Well, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. That was a good find. This is why you got to get out, guys. You find these treasures. Um... Those gnomes, those were gorgeous. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a place for them. I wish I had a place for them. Those were gorgeous. Never pass the Christmas section. They have some nice treasures. This all had a whole lot of Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras um, mask. If they were vintage, I would have grabbed a couple, but they didn't appear to be vintage to me, so I didn't. I just left them. I might have regretted. I should at least uh, grabbed one because I used to have a beautiful vintage one. It was black with the uh, with the stick and then the rose to match. And I don't even know what happened to that. Oh, that's right. When I moved, I had to toss on my Halloween and my uh. Vintage Christmas. I used to have some beautiful vintage Christmas. I had to part with it. You know, sometimes when you're moving and you're, the, the new house that you're moving to is not ready. And the house that you're in, they want you to get out so they can sell it. And so you have to go through a transition and put your things in storage. And then you get a, a huge storage, which is so expensive, but there's never enough space for everything. So you just, all you can do is sit it on the road and... People come by, oh, why are you sending all this beautiful stuff out? Um, <laughs> are you moving out of state? <laughs> this one guy, he loaded up his truck. I had beautiful bookshelves, everything, mid-century bookshelves. Oh, my gosh. And he was like, are you moving out of state? Why are you partying with this stuff? I said, no, I just, I ran out of room, and I don't want to get an, a second storage. That was cute. I was really hoping they had some Easter items in this section that I could uh, bring home, but I didn't see anything. That 
that was cute, but that's not Christmas or holiday. Oh, it's probably a Halloween costume. That's why they put it there. Okay. I meant to go back through this section once I was done filming, but I, I, I got distracted because I started chatting with someone. That was right done. Um, I think it's to cut your cheese because there's a little knife inside of there. And I really, I'm not really into cheese. It's not that I don't like it, but I get um sick when I eat a lot of cheese. So that was cute. Brand new in the box. You can't go wrong. It was a Christmas theme. You know, I love my Ray Dunn. See all the masks they had? Yeah. Oh, some more gnomes. Those were cute. I wonder where those came from. Maybe Hobby Lobby. Yeah, or Target. They were very, very beautifully made. And I thought I found a vintage bunny, but it was a hobbyist piece. It was so heavy. I didn't buy those uh, leopard shoes because I remember I have some almost identical. So I didn't buy them. I think I left them at the checkout. These were gorgeous. Like someone uh, made like some, uh, I don't know if that was real leather or just pleather. I think it was pleather, yeah. And they put those hammer nails in it. That was gorgeous. Whoever made them, they did a great job. But they were kind of grimy looking, so I don't want that on my clothes, so I left those. These were some wooden place mats. You can't tell the condition of them because they have them rolled up, so I left them. But I would have snagged those for my Easter uh, table. I might have been a because you want to bring some woods in. That would have been a great addition. And this is like the wood section. They mostly have jewelry boxes, canes, um, those uh, blocks that you put your carving knives in. That was a, a beautiful little like a wicker. Kinda, um, I think it's for a plant. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I couldn't tell if it was vintage or new. I think it was vintage because of that color. And this was a nice, what is that called? Um, hammer art or needle art? That's for a men's watch. A beautiful set. You put like six watches in there. And some jewelry. I love my little coconut guys. I used to have a lot of those. <laughs> I never saw one of those without words in front. Normally it says keys or mail or notepad or notes. That didn't have any words. And as you can see, the store is like completely empty. It was just lovely. I wanted to get that, but that piece was glued to it. I thought it was just a plain brown reef. And here was some Halloween decor. It's gorgeous. If you just moved into your house, before you buy things, go to the uh, your local thrift store first and see what you can add because... Uh, these stores, uh, they're very expensive these days. Uh, you put two things in your cart, you're already at 200 bucks. So try to incorporate some, uh, like go to the thrift store first and pick out a few things. Like these would be a great addition to a new, a new, a new house. They were only $5 each, $409. And then once you get a few things from the uh, thrift store, then go to the regular store. Yeah. I'm looking for one of these, but I want a vintage one, and I want it to be smaller, but that was beautiful. That might have been mid-century. I'm not sure. I just, it looked too modern, or something wasn't right with it. I, I think they're trying to make it look mid-century, yeah. 
so I left it. And I believe it's a Jewish candle. I'm not sure what's the name of it. But I, I really want one. I don't have one. And I was interested in that. But um, the odor that came from it. Oof. My goodness, I almost choked. <laughs> Don't you, sometimes you're in the thrift store, then all of a sudden you touch something, you're like, ooh, and you just put it down and keep going. <laughs> I thought that was vintage, but it wasn't. Hopefully on my next trip to the thrift store, I'll find some Easter, because that's what I need right now. I don't have any Easter. I did put that in the cart because those are two little uh, nests with eggs in it. But once I uh, overlooked them, they were in horrible condition. So I had to leave them. And this section is like the baskets and floral items. That was beautiful. I don't know why I didn't bring it. I think it was $5. What was it? Oh, $11.99. It's just really large, and I was like, what could I do with it? But, I mean, you could have just used it for a laundry basket or to put towels in your bathroom. No, that would have been so cute. You know how you roll your towels up and you stand them up in the basket? Oh, that was that was beautiful. That was definitely um, antique. That was gorgeous. dig through this stuff I kind of try not to dig too much in the toy section because one time when I did I got kind of sick you know a lot of kids be in here and you can get sick from kids they have colds and runny noses and you got to be careful this was gorgeous but I had it before and I don't like I don't collect 500 pieces that's a springbok vintage but 500 piece but I've done that puzzle before I've sold it The only way I'll collect, I'll, I'll purchase a puzzle that's five hundred. Um, it's got to be something real special, like the uh, graphics. Yes. Okay. And I want it so bad to pull out a few, but like I said, I'm I get sick when I go through these toy sections, and then everything was kind of dirty looking. And this is the um like kind of like the office section. You get uh books, and they always have wigs for some reason or hair extensions. Um, sometimes you can get lucky. You find little things in here that you really need, but it didn't look like I needed anything in here. I have found some beautiful linens in this section before, like the handkerchiefs and some beautiful um 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 uh, organic soap. Sometimes you can get lucky, but I didn't see anything to my interest. I think we're headed towards the, is it the picture frames? Yeah, I think I'm headed towards the picture frames. Yes. I'm looking for shadow boxes because I want to do a video on some, um, you know, tutorials. I used to have a lot of shadow boxes hanging in my room where I made you know collages and all type of things but um, I had to get rid of them when I moved and so there goes one that was one that's a shadow box a shadow box is something that you can put um, things inside when you open it so they could be displayed so 
you'll see when I make the video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Excuse me. I thought that was one, but it wasn't. There was no room to put anything in there. That was some nice uh, vintage velvet pants, but they were too little. Oh, that was gorgeous. I really wanted to bring that home with me. It was a beautiful frame. Oh, you know, another reason why the store was empty, because we had tornadoes last night. And a lot of people, a lot of trees are down. You can't even drive certain places. But, um, and, but see, I'm out because I had that appointment. I had to call the office first. They said they were going to open up, but they're going to open up late. So my appointment wasn't until 10, so that was perfect for me. Yeah, I did put that in the car. It was kind of Easter colors, but I don't want all those colors in my Easter, um, that so I didn't grab it I did have it in the cart I guess I went back to it and I would have grabbed all of those if they were vintage that was all modern like from Dollar Tree or is it Dollar Tree yeah or Family Dollar one of the two That was cute, a Reese's pillow. <laughs> this section was quite bare, so I guess I left. And then now we'll be looking at some beautiful clothes. I wish I could buy them all. <laughs> but you got to be careful. That was cute. Isn't that like Versace or something? But I think it's like imitation Versace. Because I know it wouldn't be um, hung up there if it was Versace, if it was real. Because Versace is very expensive. So I'm... Sorry, I'm hardly doing it, but um, Holly's showing a Holly, but I'm trying to get through it. At this point, I was in a lot of pain. And I just kind of wanted to uh, go through the clothes, though, because I'm looking for um, some tops. You know, I love uh, vintage tops, so I love to purchase some. And I don't think I had anything in the cart at this point. One or two things. I didn't even get what I had in the cart. That was nice. It was too small. I'm not sure why I like that so much. It kind of reminded me of like a zebra print. They had these beautiful sleeves, but I didn't purchase it. Now I'm looking at it. It's kind of cute. I don't know why I've been into um zebra um animal print lately cuz you know it's vintage so and i have i have tons i don't need any more i mean i have like 50 animal print shirts <laughs> i really don't need to be looking for any more isn't that sad please don't laugh at me that was cute And I believe I bought two, one from this shop and one from someplace else. Yeah, I think so. I could be mistaken. I kind of lost track. 
Yeah, that's gorgeous. I think I bought that. Yeah, that's the shirt that I bought. Yes. That's gorgeous. It's not animal print, but it kind of made me put me in the mind of um like Gucci. Yeah, it had that Gucci look or like Louis Vuitton. Those vintage shirts like that, those are like really expensive when you buy them. So if you can find them at the thrift store, uh, it's a great deal. Uh, Goodwill has a set price on their clothes. It's, any, it's like $9 and down. That was cute. I was trying to figure out what it was. I think it was pajamas. It's like a short and top set together. What was that with those colors? Oh, I did put that in the cart, but I didn't purchase it. It's just really not my style. But I think what uh, drew me to it was the uh, animal print and then the um, it's brand new. When you buy things brand new, you just have to wash it once. When you buy, when you buy um, without the tags, you have to wash them at least twice. At least I do. I love paisleys. Those little flower things, they're called paisleys. It's a very, very, it goes far back. It's antique. That was a gorgeous tie-dye shirt, but it wasn't in good condition. I really don't own any paisleys, and I would like to because I love paisley fabric. And if you don't know what Paisley is, um, go ahead and Google it. It's a vintage um, design. That was cute. I put it in the cart, but it was cheaply made. Remember, like I said, I don't kind of stand there and, and bustle over the item. I just, at some point, I'll pull over and then go through everything. Yes. And I really don't have the strength to stand every five minutes and look over something. So I have to find me a place where I can sit and relax and go through everything. And then I, this was the large. I went through the medium. They had some beautiful shirts in the mediums. And when you're in these um, type of stores, don't just look in your size because you will miss out. Because they put stuff everywhere and, and customers move things around. So in the uh, medium section, it was mostly large in that section. I, didn't, I don't think I filmed in that section because I was talking to two ladies. If that was longer, I would have purchased it. Beautiful vintage brown with the beige and the green. Gorgeous. It was a short I guess cut in half. I don't wear cut in half shirts unless I'm at a beach. Or going to like a nightclub and haven't been to the nightclub in centuries. <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to be uh, joining the gym. In fact, I need to go tomorrow. Yeah, I need to go tomorrow. And I got me a trainer. I haven't met the lady yet. I just talked to her on the phone. So I don't know if I can get through it. I'm going to try because I have to try something, you know, to better my health. So I can try to gain more strength. So I have to give it a try. So I'm going to give it a try. I tried last year and I was in too much pain. So I, I had to stop. So I'm going to give it another try this year. And my insurance will... um pay most of it so I, I gotta pay for the trainer but they pay for the gym um, you may not know it if you have um insurance they do pay for um for gym membership that was to die for it was more for a man though but that was like from what like the 60s yeah <laughs> that was cute I'm shocked I didn't purchase it I really wanted to I'm looking for a shirt like that, but in white, because I love that collar. I should have showed the collar more. That was too cute. That was gorgeous. If I had a man, I would have grabbed it for him. 
like a kind of like a Hawaiian style shirt. It was gorgeous, beautiful. And, and those are very expensive when you buy them from department stores. And another Versace shirt or Versace lookalike. And I think that's what caught my eye, those um, animal prints. It's so fun in these, um, this section. You just, you know, you look and then just um, bring home what you like. It's just amazing. It's such a beautiful price, too. And I think we're headed into the pocketbooks and those ladies were kind of there so I really didn't go through them. but I took take a look and I didn't see anything on that side but you know you have to kind of dig through you may you, that's how you miss out when you look <laughs> this could will never have nice pocketbooks so I didn't think they had anything today This used to be my favorite group where I used to go to therapy across the street from it. And um, I was going therapy twice a week. This was um, three years ago, I believe. This was gorgeous, but it was not vintage. So that's why I left it. And I'm looking for a name, but then you see on the little zipper part to your right, there goes the name right there. So that's modern. Yeah, it's right there. So I left it. If that was vintage, I believe I would have bought it home because it was... Um, Beautiful brown suede. But the time that I was coming here, they had more um, vintage. Yes. And that music wasn't that loud either. Those were gorgeous. Both of those shoes were gorgeous. I can't do heels because I had a lot of surgeries. Which is a disappointment because you know us ladies, we love our heels. Those were gorgeous. They were too little. I love clogs. Anyone likes clogs, leave a comment. I love clogs. Clogs are very expensive. If you can find them in a uh, new condition at the thrift store, as a good designer, pick them up because they are very expensive. So yeah, I used to love um, high heels, especially when I would go out on dates or with friends. So those are the ones that I that I put in the cart. But um, look at those shoes next to it. Those were cute too. I didn't even notice them. But I I realized I have a pair just like them, so I left them. Those are so nice and comfortable. I used to have a pair. They were too little. It never fails when I find something really nice that I like. It's too little. I think that was for a man, right? Oh, those were gorgeous. I wish that was my side. That is comfortable shoe right there. Brand new condition. Those are uh, good shoes to uh, uh, walk around a thrift store. <laughs> so. 
Are those for a man or a lady? I, I wasn't sure what that was. Are those slippers or house shoes? I don't know. They have some beautiful shoes for men. She likes vintage. Those were gorgeous in brand new condition. She had a small men's section. Those were beautiful, those moccasins on top. I think they were there the last time I was there. They're too small. I'm going to come back to them, I believe. Yeah, those are beautiful, those moccasins. Too small. Sorry, um, my house phone is ringing. Hopefully it'll stop soon. I don't even know if you could hear it because I'm over here. Those were jazzy smazzy. <laughs> No jewelry, not even one set of earrings. Now this counter right here is to be a million um, collectors at this counter right here years ago. This was the spot. They had nothing but sterling and gold and the prices were out of this world. Once that supervisor left, she took the stuff with her. <laughs> or the, the new managers, they kept it all in the back because they never bought it out. Some of my beautiful pieces I got right in this counter right here. I mean, we used to be over there fighting for the stuff. Hi, everybody. So I had a <laughs> And it used to be like a zoo. Vision. Yeah, I vision. The poor uh, people that work behind morning. the counter. Poor I'm them. so exhausted because we had like a tornado or something last night. I didn't get any sleep, but I had to make that appointment. And so I stopped at the Goodwood. I didn't have much. I did a small film. Now I'm at the Salvation Army. So, oh, you can't see it. <laughs> I got the camera turned around. I'll take a picture of it. So let's go inside and see what we can find. Okay, so as you see, this is another store, Salvation Army. Since the other the Goodwill didn't have anything, I decided to stop here. This is I passed this coming from the Goodwill on the way home. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. And someone created this uh, rock. Is that a ladybug? Yeah. Or is that a bee? It looked like a bee underneath, but then the ladybug was on top. So I was a little confused, but. Nevertheless, they did an amazing job. Now this store, they uh, everything's color coded. Anyone know who that was? Days, cars. I guess it was an event. This looked like a refrigerator magnet, and it used to play music, but I wasn't sure why it was open like that. I wasn't sure, did it do something? But it was, yes, it was uh, a vintage piece, but I left it. Yeah, looked like it was broke. That's what the problem was. Eagle Stin Children's, that's a hospital. 
well, department inside of a hospital, I think, for children. Studio Avon. <laughs> they did have some vintage here. They have some beautiful candles. I wanted to buy a couple, but I didn't I didn't leave with any. I think they wound up in the cart, but I didn't leave with any. And this is the Salvation Army. It's on um oh what's the name? I think it's um that Lucky Street. Yeah, I think it's uh, uh Lucky Street. I believe that's sprayed on that uh red. And this is a yellow section. That must be easy, so, you know, for the person, for the employer, employee that's putting the items on the shelf, you just, you go to the brown section, or you go to the red section. That's amazing. You know, I wanted to bring that home. I do collect those. I didn't. That's nice if you were having guests over and you were looking for uh, teacups or coffee cups. Those would have been cute. They had a whole lot of other, a uh, lot more all throughout the store. They had a lot of those. This is the brown section. They had a few little cute teak wood pieces. You know, I wanted to uh, bring those um, beautiful, oh, that was gorgeous. You know, I wanted to bring that home. I have so many, I have so many. Oh, oh that was gorgeous. <laughs> so beautifully made. That one was nice, too. I kind of wish I had grabbed the one up front. It's I was missing the flower because if it was there, I think I might have picked that up. See, there's more of those um, coffee cups. Those were um, reproductions. There's more. See, they got coffee cups everywhere. At this point, I you get confused. You don't know which row to go to, and you want to see it all. <laughs> so I just kind of walked away from it, cause I'm <laughs> and then just started right there. And this is the clear glass section. That's uh, where you put your rings. It's a ring holder. I have quite a few. Otherwise, I may have picked it up. It was in great condition. Great crystal. And they have knickknacks, knickknacks and whatnots all up against the shelves here. But they used to have just kind of nothing up here. So I'm glad that they're using This was nice. It looks like a homemade project. Someone made it out of a, a cup and saucer. It's a night light. Really cute. If it was small, I may have bought it, but that's too big for where I would want to use it in the kitchen. I think this is like the catch-all section. They have some of everything here. I had so much fun in this section. It 
that was gorgeous but you know i i do not even need any more brass pieces That was not, excuse me, that was not what I thought it was, because I would have put it in the cart, but it wasn't what I thought it was. Oh, this is gorgeous. And you should recognize that little sticker. Let me show another one. There it goes. Everyone knows what that is. Made in Japan. That was beautiful. See, this is why we come to these type of stores. Just to find beautiful pieces like this. And you have the whole entire set. Wow, that I couldn't get that in the cart fast enough. <laughs> Couldn't get in there fast enough. It's in like brand new condition. That was the first thing in the cart too. Mm -hmm. I don't have a spot for it, guys. I I couldn't I couldn't leave it there. It was two ninety nine, two ninety nine. Couldn't leave it. As you can see, I was having fun. I think I touched everything. That was the most excitement I've had in the thrift store. At least they had a little something to work with. Why are they making the pot parade so big? I thought that was pink quartz, but it wasn't. It was like a kind of waxy, but it smelled so good. In fact, I should have just bought it and just set it in the bathroom for the smell. I was in love with this candle. I didn't buy it, though. I think it goes in the cart. It's like a, It looks kind of gothic. Just beautiful. Those are very expensive, too, in Macy's. See, I put it in the cart. <laughs> I know you see a lot of things in my cart, but, you know, I'm sensitive enough not to check out with them. Those were cute, some uh, vintage. Those were cute. They were a dollar ninety nine each. I I looked over them because I was thinking add to my Easter table, but I couldn't do nothing with it. It's only one and one. This was gorgeous. I brought back memories. This was a shadow box. I need shadow boxes. It's a bit high. But, um, I guess the, um, content was cute. So, you know, people pay up for that type of stuff. These stores know that people like shadow boxes. They always have them uh, marked really high. That was a candle, that soldier.
That was copper. That was a beautiful vintage little knickknack. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I believe that's Fenton. Opalite. And it has the hobnail dots on it. That was gorgeous. I don't need it, but I mean, it was um $2.99. And, you know, lately I haven't been able to find any vintage. So I will start selling things like that eventually. So why not, you know, get them, collect them now if I can. That was beautiful. Oh, I wanted to purchase that so bad. It doesn't hang. It doesn't have a thing where you could hang it. I know you could buy those sticker things, but I don't like those. But And then it was another one. It was a set. Oh, my God. I struggled. I struggled. I struggled. Oh, those were beautiful. Beautiful. I hope they went to a good home because I had I had to force myself to leave them. <laughs> I used to collect that grape. What is that grapevine? That um, oh milk glass. Yeah, I used to have tons of that. The pitcher, the goblets, and this was gorgeous. Oh, that was beautiful. I don't have anywhere to put it. Mikasa. Oh, Mikasa is a great company. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was tough to leave that. Oh, I was so happy. I was like, wow, bunny. But the ear was cracked. And you see, I said crack because that was not a chip. That was a crack, a big chunk. I need to throw that in the trash. Actually, someone could get cut on it. Those were some Norman Rockwell dishes. Those were cute. I used to own a lot of Norman Rockwell items. Not anymore. I think I have a book. I'm not sure what that was intended for. This is a beautiful piece right here. Oh, it was gorgeous. Did you see that crazy? Oh, that was beautiful. I used to pick up things just because they were pretty, but I learned my lesson. And these were gorgeous. This was uh, some a modern beautiful great condition they were like brand new condition i don't think anyone ever used them those were gorgeous and that wasn't what i thought it was And then I bump into all of this goodness right here. Like I said, I'm glad I did my doll video because I would have put half of that in my cart and then I'd be stuck with them because you can't just throw them out. And you know how I feel about dolls. They have souls, so you can't just throw them out. That little clown was cute. He was made in Taiwan. I don't need any more, so I left him. That was a beautiful vintage clown, though. Just trying to see what those were. I thought they were salt and salt and pepper shakers. But then I bumped into these guys. Oh, they had a beautiful uh, mark on the back, a back stamp. Gorgeous. I didn't purchase them, though. I don't need any more clowns. I have loads. Like, I did a video on clowns. You're welcome to go back and take a look. And that wasn't even all I had. I had way more. 
just didn't feel like digging out another box. Those were cute. And this one was gorgeous. I believe that was not vintage, though, because of that string. It sure looked vintage, but that string, I don't know, something was wrong with that piece there. And then I saw that leprechaun. He was gorgeous. And that almost went in my cart. Oh, isn't that beautiful? She's very cheaply made. It's just the dress was gorgeous. And, um, you know, I just, I, you, you got to be careful what you buy. She had a great price, six bucks. She had, her body was made out of fabric and she had hard shoes, porcelain shoes and like a, a cheaply made porcelain head. I, that dress was not, uh, original to the piece but that dress was gorgeous i almost bought it just for that dress but i didn't want to take the dress from the lady so i said i'll leave it for someone else they could treasure it together and this was nice i almost put that in the cart but i wasn't sure where i would put it and then the wings were kind of too bulky for the piece I think if she had some smaller wings, it would have been more beautiful piece. This was nice Yank by Yankee Candle. It was a whole little light candle set. See, she was gorgeous. I used to have so many of those. That was a um a star that you put on the top of your tree. She's an angel. I struggled with this piece. It was beautiful. But the damage, I mean, someone looked like they just dropped it. And I'll show you the damage. Isn't that sad? Sometimes you can even color it and touch it up. But I mean, that was just, that was a, a like a big chunk out of his bottom lip. Oh, so sad. And I really wanted it for my Easter table, but just too much damage. You see, I mean, it's really damaged. That's sad. You know, if you, I think if you drop something like that, at least add the pieces to the to the piece when you donate it. Like, you can put the pieces in an envelope and tape it, and then maybe someone can even try to repair it, but... If you're good with pottery, you can fix that, like with polymer clay and things like that. I guess I could have fixed it because I do have some polymer clay. I didn't think of that, but maybe next time. I don't think I have time for anything like that, though. I don't know. They did have some cute mugs. I was saying I wanted to find some mugs to show you. Those were kind of cute. Jamaica. That was gorgeous. So some nice Jamaican punch. And that was from Honduras. They, uh, you know, cute. I should have bought that because that can go in my garden. I plan on doing a garden this summer. Or maybe not because I said welcome, you yeah. know. That's for in front of your door. Mm -hmm. Here's a cute little sweet set right there. And I believe it's Italian. That was from Pier 1. That was gorgeous. I don't need it, so I left it, but it was gorgeous. I love that cabbage dishware. And I believe that's... Uh, oh, that's Portugal. Okay. I thought it was Italian. Look how beautiful. Uh, the top to the teapot was missing. 
that was beautiful. See the top is missing. Yeah. And then there's not a saucer for the teacup. It's just a the whole set was missing. That's why it's still sitting there. Hopefully someone can find use for it and, and purchase it. These are nice when you can find them in good condition, but it was all cracked up. This is the section where you have towels, linens, rugs, shower curtains, quilts. It's all for your bedding, household items. That was beautiful. It was nice, but it wasn't uh, done well. Like the stitching on it was just—it just didn't look good. You know, everybody can't stitch. Some people do a horrible job. You see, now that one is beautifully done. They wanted 99 cents. Very inexpensive. They got a price on it that they want you to buy them all. It's a great price. You know, you can get 10 pillowcases for $10. It's a great price. Because um, in a department store, you can't even buy one pillowcase for $10, right? You got to pay at least $30, 39 That was a gorgeous vintage set. I have something similar, so I left it. And I think that was for, for a twin, too. That was cute. And the thing that you put your blanket in, what is that called? I don't know. I can't think of the name right now. And I have so many of them. Um, you know, you put your quilt inside. What is that called? I can't think of it. Sorry. Somebody... Please let me know in the comments what is it called. I did put that in the car. Wasn't that beautiful? Look at the birds on it. Wait, I think I show. Isn't that gorgeous? But that turned out to be like a sleeping bag or something. And it was in horrible condition on the inside. So... Sadly, I had to put it back. Hopefully, it finds a good home. And this is one of my favorite sections at the thrift store. <laughs> I love my linens. I tend to pick these up and use them as hand towels in the kitchen when they're in brand new condition. And for a dollar, why not? But I didn't purchase it because I'm like, you don't need it. You have so many. And that was cute. It was a shower curtain. And normally I would buy something like that. But 
when I get home and hang it up, it doesn't look nice in the bathroom, so I don't buy them anymore. That was cute, but once I overlooked it, it was very, very, very cheaply made. It was just like see-through. I didn't get that one either. It wasn't done. It wasn't made well. Oh, no, it had staining on it. That's right. It had a lot of yellow stains. Hmm. Okay, those were the quilts. Didn't see anything. And they have a little... Well, that was cute. It was a wreath made out of birdhouses. So whoever made that, that was gorgeous. It looked like it came from like a Hobby Lobby, though. Or I don't know. And then I bumped into this beautiful piece. I have no nothing, nowhere to put it, so I had to leave it. Kind of remind me of Delph. It was gorgeous. I used to have similar pieces like that years ago with the picture. Yeah, I had to part with them. And then now I'm in the furniture section. Doesn't that look old? And it fooled me. I thought it was vintage till I opened it up. You even have a vintage foot. But then you can see. Okay, that's modern. Let's keep going. <laughs> but it was pretty. Did I buy anything? No, I didn't buy anything. I did have the man bring this down for me, but the quality just wasn't there, so I left it. I really was interested in it. That's when you see me, I'm calling him, and then he takes it down. It looks nice on camera, but the quality wasn't there. Now, the, the flower in the vase, the quality was beautiful. It came to the pieces of yarn on the, the bottom right. Did a horrible job. I was like, I'm confused. You put all that detail into this. I think someone else finished this work. Because you see, I don't even know if you can tell. It's just horribly done. It didn't look good at all. So maybe someone else finished it. Or maybe he got tired. Because it's two different artists. And when I tell you it's two different artists, it's two different artists. One did the flower and one did the stuff on the bottom. But the, the person who did the vase and the flowers to die for. It was beautifully done. Unless he had a um a drink or he got tied towards the ending there. I don't know. And they have some beautiful furniture. This was a beautiful print. Oh, it was to die for. I didn't like the frame, otherwise I would have bought it. And I would have just hung it over my bed because I don't have anything over my bed. And that was even more beautiful. Oh, my goodness. The reason why I didn't purchase it because I tend to buy these type of things and then I don't want them anymore. So I just I just didn't. But that was a beautiful piece. That was gorgeous too. Nicely done, like a watercolor. And this almost went in my cart. Um, I, I struggled. I really did struggle. It was on canvas. Uh, it's just, it, it's kind of folk arty, and I just love that type of art. And I really don't have any of that art, but I just didn't. Because I'm like, I could paint something like that. But then when I realized what was sitting under it, I almost had a heart attack. Do you see that? rattan set with the mirror and oh my god it was beautiful it was like a beige creamy color it was beautiful oh my goodness oh. 
that made my drawer drop because I was so busy looking at the painting until I noticed what was it was sitting under it. I struggled leaving that though. I love owls. I love nature. I struggled leaving it. That was a painting. I, I just struggled. I struggled. I left it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it was beautiful. I think they wanted, uh, was it $9 for that piece? It was very inexpensive. This was cute. This was a cute shelf. 90 bucks they had on it. It goes all the way up. That's cute if you have if you want to display your knickknacks. I don't have any place for bookshelves and this lounge chair is a recliner chair was to die for. They wanted 150. That was beautiful. That beautiful brown color. Oh, that was a treasure. And they know they had a treasure. That's why they were asking 150 which is a great price because in the store, you they, you got to pay up to in the thousands for chairs like that. That was a nice piece right there. And I thought this was gorgeous until I opened up the drawer. And uh, it's a modern. It's a reproduction, but why it was beautiful. Pretty hard, cheaply made, no duck tails on it. Yeah, so. And that cover drew my eyes. That was by Ashley. Very beautiful vintage. I did look at it, but it had a lot of staining, so I left it. And this set, the man brings the... Uh, he, he, I was interested, so he bought the dining table over so I could look at the three pieces together. And I believe this is mid-century. It's beautiful. It's just some weird. You see the little vinyl pieces on top? There was a lot of cracking to it on the top. I think those are like leather. Yeah, that's leather, not vinyl. I just couldn't. But they were um, very, they're gorgeous. And this this is like a federal style, I believe. That's federal. Yeah, with those, um, those pulls of federal. And it was very well crafted. Beautiful piece. Oh, my goodness. If, I wish I really had a, a spot for that. Uh, I think I would have um, had them deliver it to my house. It was beautiful. And they do deliver. You have to make a small payment. And that is gorgeous. Beautiful. It's nice and wide. Do you have a large tabletop space for your vanity? My house is too small. No room for it. Dining table was gorgeous, too. They have some cute pieces. And then back to... These were, this was the uh, blazers. And that little cute piece, I, I did put it in the cart, but um, it was kind of stretched out on the bottom. It looks like it's perfect condition there, but once you try it on it's kind of stretched out so i left it but like i said i'm really into animal print and i'm looking for a blazer a nice vintage um blazer it has to be that perfect material though that's why i was in this section I didn't make it to the men's section. They might have had a blazer for me over there, but I was exhausted. This was a long day.
if you don't know about textiles, it's good to Google vintage textiles. They have some, like I was talking about earlier, that paisley fabric, but they have some beautiful uh, vintage textiles that you, you need to learn. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that because I know a lot about uh, vintage fabrics. I learned it um, um, in interior design. Yeah, I wanted to be an interior designer at one point or architect. I learned how to, I can actually build a house, plumbing, the electrical, I could do a lighting, I can do it all. Of course, I would need help, but I can draw, draft up the plans or use the CAD. They, they use a system called CAD. They don't draft plans anymore, but I do know how to draft with a drafting board, and I'm very, very good at drafting. I don't think I ever talked about it, but I, I'm i kind of like a, um, an artist. I can draw really good. Maybe I'll see if I can find some. If I, I lost so many of my own um, artists, I mean, some of my the, my art that I've painted or drew, I've lost them over the years. Uh, moving from New York, I lost everything moving from New York. All my art that I had from when I was younger. But I can really, um, I'm really good with drafting. Uh, floor plans, yeah, plans for lighting, whatever you name it, I could do it. But like I said, they use a system now. They don't draft. They use a system. It's called CAD, C A D, and that's how you um draw up your plans when you're um building. The architects and the interior designers use that. Contractors use it too. And I don't think I could use the system now because it's too updated, and I haven't used it in centuries. I did grab that blazer. It was too cute, too cute, but it was too tight. It was such a shame. It would have, it would have been gorgeous. I really liked it. Yeah, you see, I was deciding, but it was too snug. I needed one, one size up. And if you work at an office and you need some office clothes, they have everything you need at this thrift store. All you have to do is uh, take it to the dry cleaners. Or you can even wash some of these things on Delicate in your washing machine at the house. And I think this is going to wrap up the video. So please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if you stay to the end, God bless you. And I'll see you next time. Those were beautiful. I forget her name. Um, I can't think. I'm, I'm exhausted at this point. I can't think of the name. But, oh, Bradley. Yeah, Vera Bradley. I love Vera Bradley bags. I don't own any. I think I have like a wallet. I got rid of them some years back. But I used to have stacks of those. I should have taken my time a little longer and gone through those. Oh, I finally I made it back to the house. Okay, my... <laughs> it's been a long day, and then I stopped to eat with a friend. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is that cute. Oh, this is my haul. Yeah, this is my haul. I bought a couple of tops, too. Um, You know what? I don't know where I'm going to put this, but I just couldn't resist. It's just gorgeous. Do you see that beautiful blue and white Asian? It's just gorgeous. And the stick is, it's just says made in Japan, so it's nothing special, you know, too special. But I don't see these, especially, you know, at the Goodwills. Because um, it's hard for vintage to even come out. So if you see them, I guess you got to try to grab them up. This is a really acute um, set. It was I got this piece actually from the Salvation Army. And I don't think that... Inside's ever been used a perfume bottle. This is brand new, the inside piece, and it fits perfectly. Um, this whole set was only two ninety nine. Like 
that was such a beautiful price <laughs> for all three pieces. And then each piece is, has a sticker, so you just you can't go wrong with that. I mean, that's beautiful, gorgeous. I don't see these much. When I do see them, I see them in antique shops, and they ask fortune for them. So that was a really good find. I may resell it. I'm not sure. And then I grabbed this, a sand dollar. And you know, I, if you see my own video on shells, you know I don't need any more. But I just can't pass them up. I love seashells. Yeah. And then I got this um, beautiful opalescence with some uh, hobnail. I'm not sure. It may be fitting. It was $2.99. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just couldn't resist that price. But nevertheless, I do need to start stacking things because I'm going to start selling, you know, in the near future and this is beautiful I know this would sell and I know that would sell so I'm not even worrying about it and then I bought um, this beautiful um, vintage cross it's glass it's just gorgeous for dollar zero nine cute little ribbon I may change the ribbon now it does need some cleaning and some polishing of is that uh, brass yeah I believe it's brass and it's Beautiful. I mean, that can go in like a window. It's just gorgeous. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, but I, it's just gorgeous. There's no way I could pass that by for a dollar. <laughs> and then I got this beautiful pillowcase. It's just gorgeous. Very well um, stitched. Beautiful. And then I got these um, shadow boxes. So nevertheless, I won't be using... I'm going to be doing a, um, maybe like sh a shadow box um, tutorial, so i got to start picking them up. So then they're really hard to find, so when you find them, go ahead and grab them. This says Coffee Fund, I think. How much was that? That was two oh nine, And they always put high prices because they know people collect these. So um, this one has a nice black um, frames, so I may just leave that, but I'm going to change all that. I might do dry flowers or, um, maybe some, um, like collages with like the miniatures. It just depends when I get to it. And this one was perfect for a shadow box because it has the hat. Sometimes it's hard to get inside these, um, picture frames. You know, they have them sealed. This one has a hatch. It opens right up. And so I'll just change the inside. I don't think I'll paint this one. It's, I don't know. Is that? I'm not sure what this is. Some kind of resin trying to be wood. But it's I'll, most likely I'll paint it because I don't really like it. I don't like that ribbon either. But it's a beautiful um, seashell star. I can keep that. And it was only 99 cents. I mean, that's a great price. Oh, that's not the price. Okay. Because I think I got this from the Goodwill. Oh, no, I got it from Salvation Army. Okay. So it was $5.99. Um, still a good piece. You know, it hangs. It's made in India. And it's easy to get. It's, oops. Easy to get into. So, yeah. I'll be doing some shadow box tutorials. I need a few more. I need a few more. I need like a longer, flatter one. And then maybe another one this size. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to start on that. Maybe I'll start with just the two. It just depends. So I think that was it, and then I bought two shirts. Yeah, um, when I wear the shirts, I'll let you know when I wear them in my um, video. Then I have some more pillowcases. Oh, here they go. Um, and the pillowcases were only 99 cents at the Salvation Army. And then this one is two in a set. I thought that was beautiful. It's like a dark blue with a heart, and it goes across. And this one was two, and they're like in brand new condition. And when you're buying pillows like this, these vintage pillows, make sure you check for, um, oh, it's just one. Okay, I thought it was two. You know what? I think the one that had the two, I put it back. That's right, because it had a stain on it. That's right. This is just the one. But when you're picking up t these linens, open them up, because a lot of time they're all stained. Yeah. Now, these were a dollar each. This is my favorite, the it's just a beautiful pattern. It's just gorgeous. If I wasn't one-handed, I open it. But okay, that's my small little haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, let me push everything together so you can see.
Yeah, I think I did great. At least we got a few antiques this time. That's something new, you know. Okay, God bless. I hope you enjoyed the video. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you so much.